New data reveals Missourians tried to make more than $11 million in sports wagers since football season opened, but couldn't unless they crossed state lines. Amendment 2 would legalize sports betting. Joe McLean reports both sides on that issue have different predictions about next week's outcome. Missouri's Amendment 2 empowers the State Gaming Commission to start handing out sports betting licenses. It limits participation to those 21 and older and imposes a 10% tax on the revenue generated by the gambling. The State Auditor's Office estimates it'll generate anywhere from zero to $29 million a year for the state. But supporters of the amendment say it's highly unlikely to be zero, pointing to recent data showing more than 11 million attempted bets were placed in Missouri since the beginning of football season. And it shows the amount of missed opportunity Missourians have here. Obviously, 38 states have now legalized sports betting, including seven of our eight neighbors. So Missouri really is the outlier. Jack Cardetti is a spokesperson for Winning for Missouri Education, the campaign behind the sports betting push. The amendment divides up that 10% gambling revenue, with the first $5 million or 10%, whichever is greater, going to provide help for compulsive gamblers in the state. After covering some administrative costs, the rest of the tax revenue is earmarked for K-12 through and higher education. This is going in the Constitution, so the money has to go to education. But others say Amendment 2 contains massive loopholes and lacks clarification on key points. A lot of that would be left to the legislature, which could use new funding instead of the traditional funding it has used. So there's no guarantee that schools would, would see any increased funding at all. Ultimately, the amendment is expected to pass, with the state's major sports franchises and high-profile Republicans and Democrats behind it. Roughly half of likely voters told St. Louis University and YouGov they are planning to mark yes on their ballot. 30% said they're a no vote. 21% said they're unsure. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.